again. Twelve boss. Day before Florida relays. About to get ready to go to practice. I don't have really anybody to interview, so I'm just gonna make today see who I can find. I'm gonna go downstairs, search the building. You guys ready? expectations for this weekend? Always have high expectations, man. You don't mess with the Gators unless you think it's big. So we always, we always want to compete. That's the big thing. We're not point this wasn't a, a highlighted meet on our schedule. We're not trying to Go. win nationals this weekend. We're going to represent. Represent. Go. Go. No doubt. It's the same thing, really. What Coach Boots just said, it's competing with pride. Showing everybody what the Gator Nation is all about. You know, since this is a home beat, you know, uh, you come out, you know, you got the home crowd, you feel an extra sense of swag, you gotta have an extra swag about you when you come out on the track, you know, with, you know, even though you're not competing, just coaching, you feel the need to have that extra swag because you're home, or is it just, is it the same on the road or at home? It's the same at home, on the road, the Gators always bring the swag. Always. Coach Boop, you got some swag for us? Hey, that's, that's the name of the game around here. <laughs> if, if you ain't a gator, you know what it is. You know, you're a gator bait. So, you better be on your toes. Alright, cool. That's Appreciate y'all. I'm in the locker room. Just found a whole bunch of people. We got former Gators in here. We got current Gators. Um, let's see. We got big time Calvin right here. It's Calvin Smith, Gator All-American. You know, 400 meter runner. Calvin, it's your first. I guess not home me as a Gator, but you know, your first time competing on the track in a non-Gator uniform. How does it feel to be here for the relays, first time not a Gator? But, I mean, it feels feel the same really because I'm still practicing with the team and stuff. And you know, I see y'all boys practicing and we still gonna have a good time out there. Go ahead and get in the wins, you feel me? Except I'm just going against the Gators this time. I'm going against the Gators. You know, it's you know a shirt, AG, Olympian, <laughs> Team Adidas. Alright, man. We got. Newcomers to the game, we got Leo, Leo Seymour, we got Eddie Lovett, what's going on boys? These these two new additions to the two-time defending champion 4x1, 100 meter relay team, uh, also Eddie, um, 110 hurdler, Leo, 100, 200 runner, fellas, y'all on defending national championship relay, Yeah. you know, uh, is, do you feel any pressure knowing that this is your first time, gonna be your first run at it this weekend, front of the home crowd, first home meet? How y'all feeling, man? Talk to me. Um, well, like me, like, I already got pressure anyway because, with, you know, stereotype me being the hurler, but, you know, I just gotta show my speed. But I feel pressure, but me, as an athlete, you know, I'm gonna just take that pressure and go ahead and use it to my advantage and just show out for the home crowd. So, show out. Show out! We got Mr. Get You Right right here, man. Mr. Get You Right. Second leg, you coming down the back stretch, bringing it to me. What's going through your mind, dog? What you thinking about, man? What's up? I'm just thinking about moving the stick, man. Just getting the stick to the rail and getting it to the jelly. Going on down the track. That's all we gotta do. Y'all boys, uh, you know, big time cow, you can come over here too. Any predictions, Leo, for this 200 meter, you know, traditionally the 200 been something that, uh, you know, it's been a competition between everybody here who trained at, uh, at the floor with the Florida camp. This 200 meter race, you know, you got any predictions for yourself, Leo, Calvin, anything? Go ahead, Calvin. Look, I'm gonna put my prediction in, man. I'm putting down me, Terrell Wilkes. I'm not saying a particular number, but I'm going for the dub. That's just it, man. Y'all can say I mean, y'all need to do it. I mean, we've been working hard these last past couple of weeks getting ready and getting prepared for for this meet, actually. So I just want to go out there and just run. Just run my best, man. Just go out there and just give it my all. Big time, Calvin. Two years ago, me and you, first and second, you beat me by age 2068, 2070. What's up? I'm going to say repeat. Repeat. Simple as that. Say repeat. Eddie Lovett, you know, first 110 hurdle race since high school, you know, you was doing your thing in high school, you know, what's, what's going to be ahead getting ready for these first 110, first 110 collegiate race? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm going to just go out there and run. It's going to be, it's going to be me at 13. That's all I got to say. It's going to be you at 13. All right, all right, all right man, here we are. I'm with my initial 12 miles, you know, uh, interviewer. Um, I got Tony McCoy.
McQuay. And then we got Vaughn Toppin. Uh, my bestest friends. <laughs> bestest friends. <laughs> okay, uh, fellas. You know, photo relays coming up for tomorrow. You guys got any expectations for yourselves? Vaughn? I just want to go out there and have a good opening. Good opening. Top, top 21. Pick up. So, Tony, you've been, you been a little bumped and bruised up. What you back on your feet? Uh, what you doing this weekend? A lot too. A lot full.